Yo, what's up, people? This is Trey Games over ENT right here, and today I'll be providing you with my thoughts and predictions on what's going to happen in episode two of The Walking Dead, you know, season two, and the title of this episode is called A House Divided. Uh, Telltale has released on their website, The Walking Dead website, that these episodes are supposed to be released four to six weeks after uh, the previous episode. So that means we may see episode two uh, either right at the end of January or right in the beginning of February. But definitely before Valentine's Day if Telltale is a, is a company of their word. But their word is questionable, at least when it comes to release dates. Okay, they deliver on the products, but not on the release dates. But yo, let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, first, I'm gonna look at the final uh, shots on the uh, at the end of episode one. After you finish that, all that remains. Look at the final episode shots. It's basically it's a preview for episode two. And in this playthrough, I actually went back and chose Pete as the person I wanted to go back with. So uh, we see him there, and he's fucked up. You know, he's he's bleeding. He's been bitten. His leg is gone. Okay. And uh, we see him over here looking at the, the axe right here, and he's thinking about cutting it off, which, you know, is an option, but, uh, well, first I'm going to just talk about what I see, and then I'm going to talk about the, some thoughts. Okay, the next up, we got Sarah looking outside, and there's a new person coming up to the house, someone that we've never seen before, I'm guessing, and uh, Clementine tells him, you know, hey, some dude came looking for you, Rebecca, and, you know, Alvin's... He, he knows who it is. This is probably the mystery guy that Rebecca's been screwing around with. I don't know if she's actually married to Alvin or anything like that, but I think she's breaking some law, some biblical rules right here, man. <laughs> Double dipping in the pot. And then our characters are traveling outside the forest, and they're saying that it's going to be like five or four more days before they get to the mountains, and then we see a whole different group with guns, and they're threatening our people and Clementine busts through the crowd and says, you know, hey, I thought you were dead. So they leave you on a cliffhanger, even on the previews. But yeah, my overall thoughts about what's going to happen. Uh, Pete, I think Pete's a dead man, dog. Even if we do get the leg and save the, save him with the leg, you know, you, do, you would need a tourniquet to stop the blood loss. He will have to be in a safe spot too. That's the only way he's going to survive. And he has to do it like immediately. Uh, because it didn't work with Lee. But Lee actually went some time before he actually tried to cut the arm off. So he, he's actually pretty quick on the gun. But if if he does it, like they look like they're stuck in a boxcar. If he does it right there, it's not going to be good. Because I won't be able to save him. If anybody, if any zombies come around, I'm going to have to leave this man to die. I mean, there won't be really no option no a or b on that one because the dude is a fully grown man i won't be able to drag him anywhere and you're gonna need time to recover you're gonna be unconscious when you get that leg cut off trust me your body's gonna go into shock and uh i won't be able to help him he may even be sick he needs proper treatment just him and clementine nah it's, it's not enough and then you know next up we got this guy coming up to the house i think this guy is uh He's a very aggressive. I think he's very aggressive because I think this is what drives them out of the house. Him and whatever a group he's affiliated with. Maybe this is that Carver that they keep talking about. But this this Carver character, uh, he he's probably pretty uh, pretty evil, man. Because if they think that he's evil enough to use a little girl to infiltrate their uh, their house and and uh, manipulate them and stuff like that, this dude is pretty pretty evil. So that's if they think he's capable of that, this guy, whoever he is, he's he's pretty evil. And they're running away. They're high telling out of there. Alvin, I think he's fully aware that Rebecca's been screwing around on him. Because uh, you can tell by his attitude when she hears him talk about the dude. He is not pleased. He knows better. And uh, yeah, this has been going down. They got some history between these three. I don't know what, but it's not pretty. And so we're, we're traveling up north because they say going to the Rockies. That means we're going to either uh, we're going up north or we're going to a higher altitude, no doubt. And that's where we get the ski slopes and everything else. And Rebecca's kind of like, she's waning. She's out of it. She can't make the trip. It's supposed to take five days. So we're traveling quite a ways. I wonder why we're traveling there. There must be some reason that you would go to a colder environment. Maybe because maybe less zombie activity, like they were saying in episode one. So, you know, less zombie activity there. So that's always a possibility. And then we meet up with this other group. And I actually think that meeting up with the other group and their reveal 
and Clementine breaks to the crowd and says, hey, I think that's going to happen like all the way at the end of episode two. They may even leave us at that specific cliffhanger at the end of episode two because Telltale will do some shit like that. They'll leave you at the end wondering who the hell it was and you thought she was going to get the reveal this episode. But yeah, uh, and who, who do I think it is that's being revealed? I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's Lily. Lily from episode, from uh, season one, y'all. Because either, you know, she steals the RV or, you know, you leave her in the black, uh, dark forest. I think she's going to be all right, man. Lily was a survivor. Um, she got the tools to survive. She got, her, she got all her limbs. She got, she got her health. Now, does she have her Sandy? No, she doesn't have her Sandy. But she has everything else she needs to survive. And being crazy actually may be a good thing, help in her survival rate. So yeah, I believe it's her. Uh, anybody else, you know, uh, some people say Kenny, some people say Krista, but I don't think it's them because I think Clementine would be a little more happier. Her expression on her face, I don't think she's pleased to see this person, whoever it is, man. It's like a, it's like a bad shock. I'm, it's not a good shock, but. And the title itself, you know, House Divided, that basically implies there's going to be some basically uh internal fighting within the group maybe within my own group you know with uh rebecca uh the, dr carlos's daughter and something like that there's gonna be some internal fighting between that or maybe like between uh that's a conflict between us and the group that we're facing but we're not really a house so i don't know how it could be a house divided so i think it's something internally that's going on but yeah that's everything i think about what's gonna happen in season two uh i mean not season two episode two uh, character deaths, I think, yeah, I say, like, Pete's gonna die, uh, I'm even gonna, I'm even gonna put Sarah on the chopping block, Sarah, Sarah, I don't think she's gonna make it, man, because they gotta be outside for five days, that means she, they gonna run into some walkers and stuff like that, they gonna run into some stuff that Dr. Carlos doesn't want his daughter to see, okay, they're on the road for five days, so she's gonna run into some shit, and, uh, I don't know how she's gonna take it, because he said that she was very fragile, so, hey, like, I don't think she's gonna make it, yeah, um, uh, and I abandoned Nick, so Nick, I don't know what's gonna happen with Nick. I got no thoughts with him. Um, uh, he's gonna pop up out of nowhere. If we don't see him die, he's gonna pop up. Maybe at the end of this episode. May yeah, yeah. This may be, this may be who she's looking at. Maybe she's looking at Nick. Okay, maybe maybe Nick's popped up. That's the major reveal right there. I thought you were dead. Yep, yeah, it's Nick. <laughs> nah, nah, it can't be. <laughs> But yeah, that's all my thoughts I got in my head right now, y'all, man. Uh, I'm out of here. Go ahead and uh, like this video if you like this. Go ahead and comment if you if you feel free to. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, all right? Peace out. Peace out.